Hi guys, my name is Huma Sarma. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Chinese universities and Chinese scholarship. This is not Chinese government scholarship that is uh, that is provided by Chinese uh, government. This is another scholarship that is provided by Henan province and Henan government. So in this video, we're going to talk about Jingzhong University, Jingzhong University that is located in China and Henan Provincial Government Scholarship that is the provincial scholarship established by the government of Henan province to support the provincial universities to recruit outstanding international students and scholars for the degree program and non-degree program in Henan province. So in this video, we're going to specifically talk about just one university and one scholarship. This is provided by Henan government, uh, Henan provincial government. Okay, let's explore this university. This is about this university introduction, career leaders, history, former leaders, schools, how many departments. Let's check the schools and department and the faculties. Okay, there are a whole bunch of departments in this university. So you can explore your department from this section from school. Okay, admissions, click on admissions. Okay, first check the scholarship. There are different scholarship. Okay, this scholarship, then Hanan Government Scholarship, Zhengzhou University President Scholarship, University Scholarship for Excellent inter, uh, International Students. So there are a whole bunch of scholarships. Okay, in today's video, we're going to talk about just one scholarship that is Hanan Government Scholarship. So let's check the details of this scholarship. Uh, sporting categories, coverage and the standard and duration. Sporting categories for doctoral program, you will receive 40,000 per year. It's a duration for four years, master degree program. The tuition only with a maximum of 30,000 RMB. Applicant have to pay the rest if tuition is more than 30,000. If your tuition fee is more than 30,000, then you have to pay by yourself. Okay, no more than three years. Okay, this degree is just for three years. Bachelor degree program, usually bachelor degree program is for four years. But if you are going to apply for medical program, then it's for six years and you will receive 15,000 per year. So this is the sporting category. Okay, scholarship coverage. The scholarship will be used to cover tuition, including the internship fee. If the scholarship cannot cover the tuition, applicants are expected to pay the rest part. Okay, just like this one, master, if your fee is more than 30,000, the university will pay you 30,000. The rest of the amount you have to pay by yours by yourself okay when to apply okay where to apply Zhongzhou university please visit this website okay let me open this and choose Henan province government scholarship when to apply the end of january till the end of may so you have plenty of time to apply this university okay eligibility criteria number one is non-chinese government scholarship and healthy number two is abide by chinese law regulation and university regulation have good attitude you know okay applicants if you want to apply for bachelor degree program then you must be under the age of 35. Okay, applicant for sorry, I must be under the age of 25. Applicant for master program must hold bachelor degree and the maximum age is 35. And for the doctoral degree program, you must have your master degree and the minimum maximum age is 45. So, you have to details. Check your linear language proficiency for program in, instructed in Chinese. You must have your HSK. But if you are applying in uh, means uh, English language, the program that is already in English, then you don't need your HSK. You need your English proficiency certificate, IELTS, TOEFL, or other things. Uh, application documents, so you read all of these things. They are common documents, just like a non government scholarship application form. Open this form, okay, fill in Chinese or English. Certified certificate or not prized copy of highest diploma, applicant for diploma. So you should provide the original transcript, okay, you, uh, you have to submit your diploma and then transcript. Applicant for bachelor program, general scholarship program, master degree program. So you must have submit your study plan and research proposal in Chinese or English. So these are the required documents and application processing. These all are different things if you want to explore more. So these are the links and these are the points where you can find all, all the necessary information. Okay, let's get back to admissions. Click on admissions. Uh, program list, hot program, interest requirement, how to apply. These are the fees and the scholarship. So how to apply, click on this one. They have mentioned everything, how you can apply for this scholarship and for this university. All application and supporting documents have to be submitted via the online application system by appropriate closing date. To submit an online application, please visit our website and follow the instruction of online, uh, all these things. Okay, for the online application, click on this start application. First, we have to register ourselves. Click on register. Accept. Username. Uh, username, password. 
occupant from password uh, my email address and verify code and register uh, no, I don't want to save it. Okay, activation link has been sent to this email address. Let me check my email address. Okay, I received this email from the university. Okay, please click the link to activate your account. Click on this link. Application note. Okay, I have read and agree to the regulation. Ag agree. Okay, Hinan Provincial Government Scholarship Program. I am applying for this scholarship. So click on next. For master program. English dot program English dot program next okay let me check if I want to apply for chemical engineering click on apply okay duration from you have a study duration eh? your study plan name okay department major area of research duration from to okay uh, language of instruction okay chemical engineering click on apply okay first you have to upload your photo next one is family name family name okay then is given name that is on passport gender nationality uh, country okay same pakistan native language native language religion marital status married or unmarried date of birth Uh, suppose this is my date of birth, place of birth. Next is higher education. Uh, I am applying for master degree program, then bachelor. Final education institution. Okay, employer or in institution affiliated. HEC. Occupation that is student hobbies if you want to write down your hobbies on health status. Are you ethnic Chinese? No, I'm not whether in China at them Current location. No, I'm not in China if you're from then uh, no Passport number write down your passport number Passport expiry date suppose the expiry date of my passport is this one Location of the visa office, okay. Pakistan, same, yes, Pakistan. And please choose this one, okay. Save and next. Please upload your photo. Let me check if I have my photo. Okay, this is my photo. I uploaded my photo. Then click on save and next. Now the next step is English proficiency. I said my English is good. TOEFL, no, I don't have TOEFL, GMAT, this thing, other. I have English. Proficiency certificate. Master degree program, chemical engineering. Okay, supervisor name. If you know the supervisor, if you have the acceptance letter, then write down the name of your supervisor. If you don't have, then let it be. Okay, recommender. Okay, this part is recommender, but it's not a mandatory part. So you can leave it like this. Save and next. Have you ever studied in China? No. Do you have the work experience? If you have the work experience, then write it down. Yes. And if you don't have, then click on no. Have you ever worked in China? No. Okay, this is the place where you have to upload your passport, bachelor degree program, transcript, everything. And here is also another thing, application form for Hinan Provincial Government Scholarship. So where is this form? This form is, uh, I have already uploaded this form. Oh, sorry, I already uh, downloaded this form. So this is the form to apply for this scholarship. You have to paste your photo, your family name, your given name, your nationality, all of your information, your postal address, your contact number, your uh, educational background language proficiency chinese you don't have chinese then filled on none 
other languages, junior schools. So it is almost similar form that we have already filled. Please specify the organization and the person are recommending you for this scholarship. The grantor charging your case in China. Okay, you have to fill this form by yourself. It's not it's not a difficult form to fill in. It's very easy form. Then click on next. <sighs> okay, I've missed this information. Educational background, year attended. Okay, we'll start from the bachelor degree program. Because so I, okay, here it attended from 2019 to 2023. Country, Pakistan, school name, University of Punjab. Okay, field of study, chemical engineering. Chemical engineering, education level, that is my bachelors and i want to add more okay this is my graduation uh, bachelor's and the next one is high school means college okay from this day to 17 to 19 to this date country uh, government college government college chemical okay i said pre engineering pre engineering education level that is my senior high school or pre university you can also do pre university similarly you can upload your metric degree and transcripts the information of your metric degree and transcripts on save and next when you click on save and next okay fill in the okay father name father name it's a lengthy form but it's not rocket science to fill this form contact number of your father his email address position we said okay he is manager Workplace, we have looked at them. Businessman, uh, your mother name. Suppose my mother name is okay. This one, uh, her contact number. We can I, I will copy and paste. She is housewife, workplace, house, criminal record. I don't have any criminal record. Financial supporter, the guarantor should be an adult willing to sponsor you. Um, my father address relationship with the applicant either it is your father or your okay let me copy this contact number organization businessman email address his email address Okay, grantor in China. I don't have any grantor in China, but I write down the name of my father. Although he is not in China. Okay, contact number. Phone number, same. Email address, copy this one. Address. Okay, then save and next. Home country address, your street address. Uh, phone number. Okay, no phone number. Uh, zip code. City and province. Country. Same as the home address. Okay, current postal. I don't have okay i don't want to upload this wechat and all these things how to collect the admission notice deliver to address provided in the application okay yes this one receiver name i said okay copy from my postal address copy from my home country address okay receiver name huma server 
I want to receive it by myself. Contact number. Please make sure the host, uh, the postal address you provide is valid in at least three months in order to receive all admission documents successfully. So then click on save and next. Now click on submit. Submitted information cannot be revised. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes, I want to submit this form. 